In our school, your teacher has created a OneNote file for you to access your work. Today, we're going to look how to access that file on your iPad. You are going to use Safari and you will need to download the OneNote app from the App Store. First, visit Safari and visit office.com. Click on the person in the top right and then use the school email address provided by your teacher. Then press next. It will take you to the Queensland Government webpage. Here you will have to enter the password which was also supplied by your teacher. Tick the box and press sign in. This will take you through to Office 365. From here you'll be able to access your email and other Office programs. First we're looking for the link which was provided by the teacher. Click Outlook, then open the email which has the link. Press the link to your page. Then OneNote will open in an online version. From here, you will need to click the home button and then open the OneNote app. From here, you will need to click the settings button, which looks like a cog in the top right. Then click sign in. Once again, enter your school email address. Press next, enter your password, tick the box and press sign in. Then click close. On the left hand side there is an arrow, click the arrow, then click more notebooks. Click the notebook which your teacher has made for you. The notebook will then open and you will be able to see the content inside. There will be some sections. There might be a welcome section, collaboration space, content library, and then your own personal space with your name. Click on that section and you'll see your subjects. If we have a look at the PE subject, here is an example lesson. In this lesson, you'll have clear instructions at the top. You might have some audio files for you to listen to. You'll have parts of the lesson broken up. And you'll have activities to do. As long as you are connected to the internet, all work will automatically save. If you would like to look at your other content areas, click the back button and you can move through the different subject areas. Your teacher will set work inside of each of these areas on a daily or weekly basis. Any work that you do inside of these will show up on your teacher's computer or iPad. If you close the app and then continue working the next day, press the app button and it will automatically take you to where you left off the day before. In the next video, you will learn how to use the functions in the OneNote app.